A few weeks ago my kids wanted to see my artworks and my little girl said hey daddy why don't you make an artwork with me for the children's day and I took some photos of her with my phone and with the pen tool I started to cut one of the photos that I'll use in today's tutorial. It took me a lot of time to find the perfect uh, background, the perfect picture to start uh, this artwork and I just found this one. I really wanted a different sky. So this is the sky image and we see that the horizon line is around here. And in our image the horizon line is here. So that means we need on uh, this one to press Ctrl T, hold shift and move the top area to the bottom so we can match the same horizon line with the sky one so now we have the same horizon line the next important step is to remove the blues the sky and to keep the trees how do we do that it's really easy first of all let's duplicate this layer so hold alt and drag the layer underneath that will make a copy or you can press ctrl and j and for the moment we are going to hide it now on this one let's double click on the layer and to remove the sky because the sky and the water has a lot of blues here on the blend if we are going to select the blue and i'm going to drag this slider and if you look on the screen you see that the sky is gone so i'm going to drag it all the way to 60 percent something like that in my case if you use a different image that could change now i'm going to hold alt and drag the slider to the right to around 93 percent or 90 percent and now if you look all the sky area is gone and we still have the trees intact if you look now you see that it removed a lot of areas and we want those areas back because these areas should be visible all right so for that we made a copy let's bring back the copy and to this copy let's hold alt and click on the mask that will add an inverted mask that means everything is hidden and now to bring back some parts on the mask let's take the brush tool and with the white color we are going to paint and if you look on the screen you'll see that by painting with the white color we are going to bring back some parts of the areas that we removed when we use the blend if here on this part we have some waves and those waves do not look natural because in the original picture the water looked like that i'm going to hold alt on the layer with the sky or press ctrl j to make a copy hold alt and click between the layers to add this one the copy inside the original one and now i'm just going to uh, move it a bit where i think the waves look great and I'm going to hold alt again and click on the mask to have an inverted mask again and now with the brush and a really low flow around 10% I'm going to paint on the areas here on the shore to bring back some parts of the copied layer because on the sky we have um, a portion with a lot of light where uh, the sun is casting some uh, light some uh, rays of light I'm going to duplicate again the layer with the sky, I press Ctrl T, right click and flip it vertically. That will be a reflection of the sky in the water because we should have a reflection of that area. And then again <laughs> the same thing, I'm going to hold Alt, click on the mask, that will add an inverted mask and I'm going to paint on some areas and that means that reflection of the sky will be in the water now next thing is to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer where i'm going to decrease the brightness and increase the contrast then a selective color where i'm going to modify the reds and because we have these colors on the sky i added a color balance on the trees and the other areas where i have modified the midtones and now here on the left side i didn't really like the selection of the trees i found this uh, picture and I really love the position and the way the trees looked and I'm going to do the same thing with the blend if so double click on the layer and here select the blues and drag this slider and play around with the settings and uh, hold alt and drag the right slider to the right and now the trees look really really well and then I'm going to hit ok we still see the city for that I'm going to 
add a mask and with the black color and a higher flow i'm going to paint on the areas that i don't wanna see and then i decided that uh, this scene should be a night scene so to transform this really really fast into a night scene we should add a color lookup so click here on the bottom and choose color lookup and here on the 3d load we can use night from day and that will automatically make our day night and because i really didn't like the colors here on the sky i added a new layer and i have set it to color then i took a cyan color and i started to paint on that area of the sky and then i double click on the layer and i hold alt and drag this slider more to the right and then I decrease a bit the fill then because this area was too bright i added a levels adjustment layer where i have decreased the brightness and i did exactly the opposite with an exposure adjustment layer where i have increased the exposure the lights on the right area then i have placed my little girl my daughter here on uh, this uh, part first thing i need a contact shadow so i uh, painted a shadow on a layer set to multiply i copy the same color lookup adjustment layers then i added a levels adjustment layer to make her even darker and with an exposure i made the, her right side brighter then i have painted this wand and this star in her hand and now let's move on to the jellyfish so i have this picture with a jellyfish from adobe stock first thing was to set the blending mode to screen and because i could still see the background the blue area i will add a levels adjustment layer and here i will clip it inside by pressing uh, alt and then here on the top area i'll drag the contrast more to the right and if you look on the screen you'll see that that uh, background that blue area surrounding the jellyfish will be gone and then i will add a mask and i will remove the other areas like uh, this jellyfish here all right so now i have uh, this jellyfish ready to paint over what i wanted so if you watch my previous tutorials you know that i use this method a lot and you should watch this tutorial because there i explain step by step how to do this so first thing create a group set it to screen and inside the group i'll create a new layer and I'm going to fill it with black then i'll create another layer empty layer then gradient map and here i already have some presets some uh, gradients saved so i'm going to use one of them and you can copy those colors and now go to the layer empty layer and take the brush tool and with the white color and the really low flow you can paint on the areas that you want to show so in my case i wanted to paint here and i uh, emphasized some parts of the jellyfish and now um, it has this really magical glow on the areas where I paint after I painted the shapes on uh, those areas with the cyan color and then I created the same magic but this time I changed the colors on the gradient map and I use uh, those ones so this instead of science I use those colors and I painted on the other parts of the jellyfish to create another color so this is how i made this magic look like and then on my little girl of course i had to add some rim lights usually i use linear dash foam rim lights and i just paint uh, on the edges where i have my lights and then uh, with the color dodge i added more light on the areas where she intersects with the magic so you create a new layer and you fill it with black and the blending mode should be color dodge and i take the white color and i'm going to paint on some areas where uh, the magic intersects with her but of course be careful that color dodge is really really strong so then you can always switch to the black color and paint again on the areas to make them less brighter and then I uh, added more jellyfishes on uh, the background by uh, using the same uh, method and then I just painted 
uh, some stars, some uh, glitter on the jellyfish to uh, have uh, this magical look. And then later on I decided to paint uh, more uh, tentacles or tendrils on the jellyfish and uh, I think now looks much much better. Then create another screenshot for the camera row filter so press Ctrl Shift and I right click convert it to a smart object and then go to filter and here choose camera row filter. Those are my settings here on the right on the detail color grading a bit and uh, effects and calibration where I have decreased a lot the blues. If you found this video useful please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch those videos next if you want to learn even more about photo manipulation and photoshop.